A missing person, a chase, and a body found burned in the desert. The bizarre disappearance and murder of Benjamin Anderson now gripped the Phoenix community for an entire year. It was last New Year's Eve when this case began. With no arrests made, his best friends are doing everything they can to keep his memory alive while just waiting for answers and justice. True Crime Arizona's Brianna Whitney has been following this case for the last year. So where is this investigation now tonight? I, I mean, this is one of the craziest cases I think I've covered doing true crime and authorities have remained pretty tight lipped about updates on the case. But over the course of the year, we've gotten pieces of new information that help piece together the puzzle of a timeline leading to Ben's body being found. Now his friends say it's a matter of time before an arrest is made and they're confident in saying they believe this was a targeted attack. When the clock struck midnight to ring in 2022, Dan Stahoviak turned to his friends. I remember saying to everybody in the car, Happy New Year. You know, what the hell are we doing? This group of friends called 41-year-old Benjamin Anderson one of the best people they knew. When he seemingly disappeared on New Year's Eve last year, they immediately went searching along with law enforcement and tracked his car's navigation first to a Super 8 off I-17, then to a Sheraton parking garage, thanks to help from Lexus with pinged coordinates. They told us essentially not to worry the car is mobile, it's moving. Maybe he just, he's driving his car and he just phone is dead. But Stahoviak and friends say three strangers were driving Ben's car. They said the unknown people led them on a pursuit, but they stopped fearing for their safety, only to later find the car burned in a college parking lot with no signs of Ben. I felt that he, I felt that he was dead. According to law enforcement, they got a call for a body on fire around 1.40 p.m. on December 31st in the rural desert off Table Mesa Road and the I-17. It was identified as Benjamin Anderson's body, but only through DNA and dental records. And the detective said, you don't want to see this body. You do not. It's not recognizable. With no arrests and little to no new information, his friends are honoring Ben this weekend, doing what he would have done. Packing bags and delivering them to the homeless, a cause near and dear to Ben's heart. And it's about what he would have done. And Hindsight may be 2020, but Stahoviak finds himself reflecting on a question Ben asked him three days before he was murdered. If you could know when you're going to die, would you want to know? He just randomly asked us that question. And while Stahoviak does not believe Ben knew his life was in danger, he does believe this was a targeted attack on his best friend. The way that they disposed and burned and mutilated his body, somebody was angry. And I think there's, I think it was personal. Such a tough case. We have asked the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office for updates on the case repeatedly. They have not revealed any more details on where the investigation stands and did not get back to us with any answers today. Of course, if you have any information on the homicide of Benjamin Anderson, please call the Sheriff's Office. The guys. details of this just gives you chills. <sighs> it's such a bizarre timeline. Yeah, let's talk about the timeline because there's so much going on in this story. Right, so they were searching. He goes missing. He had made a call to Dan that morning, mm -hmm. canceling brunch. He called somebody else around 10 30. Okay. So there's only several hours of time in there right. between he, when he last contacted somebody right. and when his body was found in the desert. And I went out there with the man who found it to do a story. It is way out there, like 35 miles north mm. on the freeway and then another 30 minutes uh, west. And you just wonder what, mm -hmm. happened, what happened in that time frame yeah. and who were the people in that car? Yeah. What's the story? Uh, one year and still no answers. Right. And boy, that question asked three days before. I, it's eerie. It gives you chills. It does. Eerie, yes. It really does. Yeah. So we'll stay on top yeah. of this. Of course you will. Brianna, thank you.